Hi Scorpio, this is going to be your full moon and Aquarius message. Um, unfortunately, there's construction um, going outside, like right in front of my window, my bedroom. So forgive the noise. Um, as long as you can hear me. <laughs> um, so this is going to be your full moon and Aquarius message. Full moons are time to be released. So we can receive, so we can allow. And we're just gonna see what you guys need to release. What's going on with you guys during this full moon? There is, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, remember, you know, not every single portion of the video may resonate. Sometimes you'll get lucky where it does. And then, you know, sometimes there's like mini readings within a reading for different groups of people right so one group of scorpios may be going through one thing another group may be going through another and one group may have their own thing and i may try to tie all that into the reading um but if you guys ever wanted a personal reading you can always um just email me and yeah all right so just want to shuffle a little bit more so I feel like Scorpios, as I was shuffling for you guys, um, emotions are running high. Um, I also got surrender to the divine. I feel like, a, um, and being that this is a fixed full moon and you guys are fixed signs, I feel like this is going to have a really big impact on Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus because it's a fixed moon and you guys are all fixed signs. Um, we got emotions are running high, emotions are running high, and a time for healing. So some of you could um, be healing something you will be, or you will be needing to heal from something, or it's just really this full moon may be bringing up some stuff for you guys that may make you feel very uncomfortable. Um, it may make you feel really awkward, out of place emotionally. Um, and it may definitely make you feel out of control. So, you know, the full moons, the energy lasts. They start like a few days before and they last about a few days after. So I would say for the next week or near the next, um, is today the 23rd or the 24th yet? Um, because some people feel the full moon like days before it happens. So I would say for the past week, past few days and you know, a few days going on, which probably gives it about a week or so, you guys may feel a few things. <laughs> you guys may be feeling a few things. Some of you may be um, on the outs with a friend, a lover, um, I don't know, but What's the full moon in Aquarius? Let's see. We got communication is key, new moon, moon and Gemini. So we got Gemini energy here. Full moon and Aquarius message for Scorpio. Communication is key. Some of you, um, a fiery climax approaches. That's we got full moon in Aries. And we have um be bold and make the first move. And then we have prosperity lies ahead, um, new moon in Taurus. Um, so Scorpio, um, some of you may need to, I don't know if you guys need to apologize to someone. We got Taurus energy here, Gemini and Aries, and we got just karma energy overall. Um, I don't know if you guys need to apologize to someone, but I would say for this, Again, prosperity, and I always tell you guys in your reading, Scorpio, self worth increases your net your net worth, right? Um, I feel like this full moon is, you know, for you guys really. Um, there may be ways that you communicate that need to change, and your ways of communication may be rooted in your thoughts and how you really view yourself. Um, some of you have a false, 
sense like some of you guys have this false sense of like identity or you have this false oh my god y'all hear that oh no hold on i have to close the window this is sad i can't really like um i can't um i can't really wait what the fuck Damn, it's still loud. That was some shit. Um, damn, it's like it'll make a difference when I close the window. Um, I feel like for Scorpios, um, some of you have like this. Some of, some of you guys need to release this. Like, I don't know. I don't know, it's, it's something about the way you guys communicate with people or maybe the way you communicate with yourself. Um, I don't know, I think you guys jump to conclusions really fast, which is a very Scorpionic thing to do. I have a moon in Scorpio, so, you know, I'm, I'm talking about me too. <laughs> um, something came with the fiery plant. Damn, that's crazy, because I closed the window and I can still hear that. Uh, my apologies. Um, a fiery climax approaches. Um, if you guys kind of falling out with somebody or you feel some type of way about somebody, I feel like you guys need to say something. Um, with the be bold and make the first move here, I feel like you guys get out of your pride, get out of your ego, and you need to do something. Um, if this is work related, yeah, see? Okay, look at this. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon and Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Um, confidence, not pride. Remember that. Confidence and pride are two different things. Um, I feel like if this is like finance related, you need to um, get moving on something. And first things first, communicate, get clear, like write down what it is that, right? And if this is in regards to friendships or relationships, write down what you require from, from these things. Write down what you require, like start getting clear and honest with your, get clear and honest with what you require from friends, from lovers, from family. Write down, you know, what you think you bring to the table. You know, and I'm not, this is not a, this is not a full moon thing. I'm telling you, this is just something in general. Um, and also Scorpio, you know, get clear about your flaws and your faults. Don't just nitpick and call people out on their stuff. Like, what about yourself? Because again, I feel like some of you have this false sense of like superiority and that you guys are like perfect and y'all be repeating the same shit. <laughs> And and y'all and y'all make it about other people, but it really be y'all. Like it's it, it's really y'all. So I feel like for this full moon in Aquarius, and this full moon in Aquarius, and this Leo season in general isn't gonna be like the typical Leo season that's like all glitz and glamour. Like this is like real shit. Like we have like we're the, I think when Jupiter goes back, we. Is it regressing back into Aquarius? And Aquarius is ruled by Saturn. Th you know, things are going to be slowing down. Things are going to be much harder moving forward. And that's in all areas, right? Um, I feel like you guys need to get... I feel like this full moon energy or whatever situations that have been occurring or things that haven't been occurring, they're going to force you out of that comfort zone. They're going to force you to release that fear of you know, that real boldness. Um, I feel like with the be bold and make the first move, if you guys want something, you're gonna have to be honest about the moment what it is you want, why you want it, and you're gonna have to, there's gonna be, you know, things that you need to change about yourself to make that happen. You can't want something new or want something different and you're still stuck being the same way, going about things the same way, dealing with the same type of people and then constantly blaming people and acting like you're like this innocent and perfect thing. Like, stop choosing the same things over and over. Get clear about what it is that you truly want. And get clear about what you really require. Don't feel like it's too much. So during this full moon in Aquarius, um, 
I want you guys to focus on, I'm not going to say I want you guys, I'm not going to tell you guys what to do, but for, you know, your message for this full moon in Aquarius is to release what holds you back, release unhealthy ways of communication, release the blockages you have in communicating with others, release um, the false narrative of how you see yourself, release um what's old and what's what has concluded release what has finished what has what is piling up certain things that are piling up in your life they need to be dealt with and this could be even an internal thing it may not even be an environmental thing it may just be something internal you have prosperity lies ahead here I mean, y'all guys got it. It's in y'all, you know, whatever it is that you guys are wanting. And prosperity doesn't just doesn't only mean necessarily just mean money. It can mean anything, you know, whatever that whatever it is that you guys. Prosperity means, um, you know, it's, it's linked to abundance. So whatever you guys want in excess, like that is is here for you guys. But you guys got um, confidence is your key to success in order to really be in like that real genuine confidence you got to really see your strengths and your weaknesses so during this full moon in Aquarius you know release release um release certain ways of being that block you from healthy communication styles that block you from not letting things end when they need to end and that block you from you know being more instead of being more instead of being passive aggressive actually go out and say something or do something don't be passive about things i feel like you met that message was all over the place but i don't know i kind of feel like that's where you're at right now um we have gold divine intervention god sends miracles to answer your sincere prayers that's what i'm saying communication is key get honest about what it is you want scorpio i, I really think that um and be honest about what you need to release about your what you need to release within yourself that you feel like is blocking um certain things from entering your life Stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. Yes. Oh, y'all are so, y'all be, let me, Scorpios can be very negative and pessimistic, just like Capricorns. Um, again, I'm a, I'm a um, Scorpio moon, so I'm not, you know, just coming at y'all. I'm talking about me too. Um... Garnett, yes, oh my god, hello, duh. Purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. Be bold and make the first move. Hello, y'all need to get things going and get them, you know, don't wait on other people, don't wait on life, don't wait on whatever. Like, some of you know, the move y'all need to make is y'all need to uh purge. And again, this is a full moon, so I feel like this is very fitting for you guys, Scorpio. Um, this is definitely a time to purge right now. Really purge. You would know what you know what you need to purge. Get on it. Write it down. Burn the paper. Make sure the paper is fully burned. If it's not, re-burn it again. Just make sure that shit is burned to ashes. Okay. Um, yeah. Release purge detoxify all throw out old clothes delete numbers shit cut people off if you need to um kill old habits thought patterns um again you know full moons are ways for us to release so that we can um so that we can attract and receive and you have both of right here unconventionality your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose it's okay to feel and be different from others and this is very fitting for um full moon aquarius because aquarius is a very you know it's a pretty eccentric sign aquarius steps outside the box but aquarius 
is original and a, and the reason why Aquarians are the eventers and they're the ones who are always years ahead is because they are very authentic within themselves for the most part. So I feel like, again, for Scorpios, you guys need to get really clear about who you are and not hide behind pride and this false sense of it's everybody else but me. You guys need to learn where you were. You guys need to start seeing where you were wrong at because I feel like it's blocking a lot of you guys' prosperity in all areas of your life. So use this full moon to be very clear, very authentic. It's okay, and you know, it's okay to be flawed. You know, it's okay to be imperfect. It's okay to be wrong. It's it's okay to be wrong sometimes, even if you're wrong about a person, a situation, a career, life. Your you know yourself. It's okay to be wrong. Okay. Um, stay strong in your faith, right? A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. So release, um, focus on this, focus this new moon, this full moon in Aquarius on releasing anything that's blocking you from a positive mindset, poor communication, um, letting things go, blocking prosperity and blocking you from really being authentic with yourself about who you truly are. And that includes your strengths, your weaknesses, and your flaws, and also your capabilities. Um, I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!